Today we're using components of the MV7840, specifically the MV7102 and the MVA6850 to perform a pressure brake bleed on the vehicle behind us. First off, we need to select our cap and get our down tube, get that installed, and we'll head over to the vehicle. I've pre-filled the unit with brake fluid and left it setting on its side. Anytime you connect these systems together, you need to do a dry test to make sure you have a good seal between the adapter and the master cylinder. Now we'll make sure that we move this over for pressure. No leaks found. set the unit up so now our tube is down inside so we can pick up brake fluid bleed pressure on now we've got a hiss going there that means that the safety valve is starting to open up because we've reached pressure one of the tricks I like is I back this off a little bit until that hiss slows down a fair amount that way it's at max pressure and I don't have to listen to so much noise. Now we need to raise the vehicle and get ready to bleed brakes. Okay, I've already connected the brake bleeder bottle. Got it connected onto the bleed nipple, got her hung. Let's open this up. We're getting fluid through, there's a little bubble seeing a few. I like to run this until we see a fluid, possibly a color change, or run it till we don't see any more bubbles coming through. After that, give it another 10 to 15 seconds. May need longer. Depends upon your vehicle and your brake system. Always check the manufacturer's suggestions when it comes to uh, brake bleeding procedures to make sure you get the wheels in the right order. But this is basically the same procedure that would be done at each wheel. We've been running this for a bit. The fluid's nice and clear. Haven't seen any bubbles come through. I think we're good here. We'll go ahead. We're going to close off this bleed nipple and we'll continue. We finished bleeding the rest of the brakes on the vehicle and now we need to shut the system down. So we still got pressure on everything. So we want to center up this valve. And we're going to toggle our pressure release. And keep an eye on the bubbles coming back out of there. Don't worry, it's just the pressure in that bleeding off. So we're not seeing movement at this point. Close this. We have a rag. All right. Well, it looks like I need to top this fluid off a little bit. The nice things about the MV7100 series. It is a fluid dispenser. Got that closed. Go ahead and bleed a little pressure on. Just a little. Don't need a lot. Don't want it to splash. And we're going to go ahead and top that off. Our dispense is finished, but hey, this line's full of fluid. MV7100. Pop over to vacuum. Our lines are clear now. We can disconnect. And our service is done. If you found this video useful, please hit that like, subscribe, comment below. For more information on MightyVac products, please visit our website at MightyVac.com.